All right. Good morning, folks. My name is Stephen Hughes. I am the founder and chief financial mentor of a state-recognized nonprofit called No Money Incorporated. Our tagline is No Money, No Problems. Um, our mission is to create money-savvy youth and young adults across the state of South Carolina through financial education and also entrepreneurship training. So here's a picture of me and my family. I'm a first-generation Jamaican-American. And uh, education was a really big thing in my household. Um, I remember even in high school, uh, kind of working through school and giving my dad some money every single month to save for my, for my college fund. And uh, my senior year, I applied for colleges. I knew I was going to Clemson, the Tigers. And when my senior year, I asked my dad, I said, hey, I'm ready to go to school. Let me get that college fund. Uh, you know, I'm looking to do some back school shopping. And uh, he gave me a receipt for a closed account with $25 on it. And at that point, uh, you know, it really hit me that, you know, I come from humble beginnings, but at that point I knew that I probably needed a better financial foundation and more financial education. And it really showed when I went to Clemson because I made every financial mistake possible. Um, whether it's maxed out credit cards, it was overdraft fees to the point they closed my account, uh, repossessions, eviction. Uh, my credit score was a 415. Solid. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw y'all's eyebrows go. You can judge me, sorry. Right. Um, because I turned my financial life around. There's a point where I decided that I had to do better. And so after school, I moved back to Columbia, took a job here, and I started digesting everything that I could on saving, investing, debt elimination, credit repair and recovery. And that is what kind of brought me to no money people started asking me how to get out of their rut. And so we marry theory with experience to give people exactly what they need to meet them where they are when it comes to our educational programs. Um, so our target market, we work with uh, the organizations that are able to reach 12 to 18 year olds. So of course that's schools, but it's also your after school programs or nonprofit organizations that are doing programs for 12 to 18 year olds. This is a program that we did at St. George Middle School late last year. And um, for our young adults, we target 18 to 34 year olds and um, college aged students or college aged adults are in that range as well. And so we have special programs for them. But this is when we were doing a young professional investing event at Lee SC uh, conference for the uh, Chamber of Commerce for the state. So um, what sets us apart, our programs, uh, the programs are all based, they're theory based, but they're also experience based. We're able to customize them for whatever our target market, market needs. Um, our people, uh, I have the best board of directors in the city, uh, probably in the state. Uh, you can cover the East Coast, definitely the world. Uh, it's definitely a, a group of diverse people who, you know, backgrounds come from Realty from banking. Uh, I have a teacher there. There's a community engagement specialist and someone who's super passionate about helping kids, uh, along with myself. And with our group, we're able to really hit our passion points and you know carry out our mission through the programs that we have still. And then our platform. Uh, last year, I was selected by the World Economic Forum as a founding curator for their Global Shapers community. And so, uh, Columbia, South Carolina, is my hub. We're kicking things off this year, but uh, I spent some time last year in Geneva, Switzerland, talking about financial inclusion and also financial stability. And no money is actually having a global footprint at this point. Tomorrow I have a Skype call with someone from Egypt to do a financial education there. And in April I'll be going to Accra, Ghana, which is a sister city of Columbia, South Carolina, to do a financial education there and a TEDx speaking engagement. So, um, and this is uh, some of the pictures of, of me in uh, Switzerland this past summer. And our revenue model. So we are a nonprofit, but we are seeking to run ourselves like a business and not just off of the uh, sweat equity of our board of directors. So we have a program called the No Money at Work program. It is a financial education program that focuses on companies and corporations to teach their employees about financial management and financial education. Uh, we worked with Verizon Wireless in Greenville, South Carolina, and in Columbia, South Carolina. 
We've also worked with the Adventure Children's Museum here in Columbia, South Carolina with their employees. And then again, our customized programs for schools and organizations. Uh, we've worked with nonprofits. Uh, we worked with a nonprofit last year uh, called Project Opera Camp, where they're targeting um, at risk youth and they wanted a financial education program for their summer camp. And so we were able to develop the curriculum, give them an action based program, and, and they, uh, they put that together for their camp. Um, so our goals going forward is really to expand the service area beyond the Midlands. Um, we're based here in Columbia, but like I said, we're, we're creating money savvy youth and young adults across the state. So we want to reach those corners. Um, to launch the Future Capital Youth Entrepreneurship Camp. Uh, so this is something that I'm really excited about this year. It is a youth entrepreneurship camp that focuses on reducing the inequalities and opportunities. We're starting a entrepreneurship camp in the lowest income zip code of the city. And after this year, we're going to go ahead and roll it out in different cities with partners. But um, this, is, this is something I'm pretty excited about going forward. Um, and building relationships with other financial literacy organizations just to really reach our mission of creating money savvy youth and adults across the state. Um, we want to you know, hold hands and work with the people who want to work with us and to reach that mission as well. That's all I got. Uh, questions? Oh, and this is a...